Today I'd like to talk to you about a product called Katerin. And I hope I'm not murdering the name, but I pronounce it Katerin, and that's not how it's spelled. It's actually misspelled there. So as a repair person, a lot of you guys probably carry around um, thumbsticks, which contain all of your setup files. I know I do. I used to carry around a whole book of CDs, but I figure um, thumbsticks are a little bit easier. You can, can, you can actually consolidate a bunch of CDs into one giant thumbstick. Problem is, that thumbstick becomes out of date, and every week you gotta go ahead and, and uh, update the files on the thumbstick, usually by going to the website, saving the file, let's say for Avast, and then save it to the spot that you wanna, that it goes, and then transfer it to your thumbstick. And that can be a time consuming process, probably easily 20 minutes if you go update all these different files to the point where you just don't want to do it that often because it just takes forever. Well, here's where um, Gatarin comes in handy. Here it is. It lets you specify uh, downloadable links to all of your setup files. So instead of doing one file individually by going to the website and choosing Save As, you add all the files download links into this program. And every day or every week, you click the Update button and it automatically downloads the updated version. So let me show you how it works. So here's the main application. So let's say we want to add a brand new application. We're going to add three applications that I know have been updated since I updated my thumbstick list. So first off, let's go ahead and add um, the Avast definition file. So we'll just call it Avast, uh, is it VS, VPS, I think it's called. Let's go ahead and get that list. So we're going to go ahead and go here. Now here's the VP5. That's for the newest version. So we're going to go ahead, if you see it here, the address on the bottom left is always going to be VPS updates. You can always use this link. Sometimes they change the version number in the, in the actual EXE name. In that case, that's not a very good thing to use. Otherwise, you'll end up with multiple copies. So we're going to go ahead and say paste. We're going to point it to that link. And we're going to save it to this file underneath drive C, applications, antivirus, avast, update. So every time, it's always going to update this file. And we're going to go ahead and replace it, yes. Okay, so that's that one. The next one we're going to do is a combo fix, because that one updates almost daily. So let's go to the beeping computer, and this one also. It always saves it to combofix.exe. Another good one you can link directly to. We're going to go ahead and copy the link. And we'll add a new one calling it combo fix. Okay, now let's do one for Avast. This one, um, in case it changes the version number in the EXE, we're going to go ahead and use File Hippo, which this thing supports awesomely. In which case, we're going to do a search for the word Avast, and we're going to click it. And the tag we're going to use is always going to be the one after the underscore, download underscore, and here's what we want to use. Avast underscore antivirus. Add new application. We're going to call this one Avast application. File hippo ID, which means whenever this application updates, it's always going to grab the latest version. And in this case, we're going to save it to the exe, not to the folder. Because in case it starts saving those weird names, we're going to get multiple copies. Okay, so now normally you'd go in here and you would add every single application setup file that would use. In this case, we're only going to add three because I know these three have changed for my next demonstration. So now all you do is click update and it proceeds to download the newest versions. Looks like the application, there was no update to it. 
because the spot I saved it is the exact same version on the website, so there's no need to update it. Combo fix, new, VPS, new. Now also, how do you add these new files to your thumbstick? Normally what I would do is I would just go ahead and I would delete um, everything and just put it all right back on. That way I would know I would have the newest version. But that can take a long time to re-download like four gigabytes of stuff. So how do you update just the things that have changed, like the AVAS VPS and the combo fix? For that, I like to use a program from TwoBrightSparks.com. Oops, I didn't spell correctly. Called Syncback, and they have a great free version. And all these will be underneath the um, video info. So we're going to go to Downloads. Okay, I think my VM's uh, network thing went down. So here's the copy I took to my workstation. Let's go ahead and install it. This is a free backup program. It's really nice. I kind of love it. Let's launch it. Let's go ahead and create a new backup routine. On the desktop, I have a folder representing what my thumbstick would look like inside. So we're going to say, OK, we're going to make a brand new backup. And we'll call this one thumbstick. For the source, we're going to put the directory where all the latest setup files are installed, including the ones we just downloaded. That would be underneath, uh, let's see here. applications okay and we're going to install it on my thumbstick underneath applications okay uh, we're going to go ahead and choose copy delete well let's just hit okay and no here's your thumbstick let's go ahead and double click it modify and go in here underneath the advanced okay if it does Okay, if the file's in the destination, but not the source, we're going to say go ahead and delete it. That way, if we have a, yeah, yeah, yeah. That way we're going to say if the file, like this 2.0 version, is not in the source, but we have the new 3.0 version, it's going to delete, delete the 2.0 and add the 3.0. That way you just don't clutter up your thumbstick. So we're going to say okay. There. So now we're going to go ahead and run it. And when we run it, we'll notice that those two files are really the only thing that has changed. So let's go ahead and hit run. See? Virus VPS, that's the new one, and the combo fix, also the new one. So now we're going to go ahead and hit run. Success. So in that time, we have just updated our thumbstick to the latest versions. This program is an awesome program, and it went from now 30 or 20 minutes of my time downloading and saving all the new links up to a single click of the update button, which is now click update and uh, let it do its own thing. And then go into sync back, click sync, let it do its own thing. And my total time is now maybe one minute. I hope you guys enjoyed this demonstration. As always, all the update links are now located underneath the info on the YouTube video. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.